Hey there, golfers. I'm Drew Mahol, the second swing golf. Today we're at Cobra discussing the Cobra Speed Zone hybrids. I'm here with Tom Olsowski. He's going to give us a little bit of information uh, and insight into the 2020 hybrid models here in the Speed Zone package from Cobra. Uh, Tom, just let's get into it right away here. Uh, what is Cobra really the most excited about with these Cobra Speed Zone hybrids? Well, one of the things about Speed Zone that we just talked about uh, a little bit ago was the split rail designs. And we've learned over time that when you make that rail design in there, the baffler technology, it works so great out of all kinds of lies. It actually stiffens the sole. And so when you stiffen the sole, it actually slows down the rebound a little bit. And so we don't want that. We actually want to make that design a little bit more mm -hmm. flexible. So the split rails are very exciting from a standpoint as you get all the playability that you would need through the turf with the, the baffler technology, mm -hmm. but you get a lot more speed. Uh, and with that speed and flexibility of that design also comes a little bit higher launch angle. So a lot of players are putting in hybrids in their bag and have for a number of years because they launch high mm -hmm. and they come down soft. And so when you need those shots that the, you want to hold a green from a long way away, hybrids are a great recipe for that. Uh, also, hybrids are really key nowadays with the way we, the industry makes irons are pretty strong lofted. So hybrids naturally have a built-in benefit because the CGs are lower and further back than an iron. Yeah, absolutely. I know the, the, the split rail, the, the, the baffler design really for Cobra has been so good in hybrids in the past and it's really a reason why Cobra has been so successful in that category. Yeah, thanks. It's been super. And you know, one of the things we launched a couple years ago with the one length irons was also a one length hybrid. So that's been really surprising for us because um, the one length hybrid works great. We also see a lot of players play it who don't play one length irons. Really? Yeah, it's really interesting. And most people are surprised when we tell them that, but we, we get the feedback from people who said, I love it because it's more hittable. Uh, it, you know, sometimes players are starting to see their hybrids even get a little bit mm -hmm. too long of a club length. So they struggle with that because you're looking at, hey, where's the consistency of impact? What is, what's my ball flight going to be? A lot of times with average and high handicap players, it's more about success ratio with those kind of clubs because usually they're a long way away. You know, they're, they're playing courses that are, that are long and typically they need a long shot off the turf to get them close to the green. Yeah, so uh, the idea behind one length really in terms of at least the longer clubs, right, going to the hybrids is to, you're kind of shortening that shaft and by doing that you're going to um, really help creates uh, center of the face contact, right? Exactly, and, and we know that, that we've seen that in, in the irons and the, uh, the hybrids is you get a more center face contact, which automatically gives you a huge boost, mm -hmm. performance, feedback of the club itself, of how well it works, and the confidence. You know, most of these shots at golf, um, I remember, you know, Mr. Nicholas saying, you gotta be confident about the shot. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're not confident about the shot, you got no chance. But if you're confident, you have a chance. So if you could build some confidence through the centeredness of contact, all of a sudden, the next time you pick up that club, you're going to have some right. confidence, so you're going to likely have a better shot. Uh, we know that if you don't have confidence, the likelihood of a good shot is very low. So the one length hybrid has been a great success story for us. The other secret that, that a lot of people will talk about too, especially a lot of the teaching pros, um, is it's a great chipper. Now when you think about people who have used hybrids as chippers, a lot of guys on tour you see doing that, um, you know, but most of them are conventional length. Well, they're conventional length and lying old. And typically when you're around the greens and chipping, you actually want a little bit more upright lying You get the benefit of a head that goes through the turf easier, doesn't twist, uh, is easier to control the shot on those chip shots, but then you have a slightly upright lying compared to the traditional hybrids, and you're closer to the ball. So that's a win-win for people around the greens. And, and think about where we waste our shots. You know, most oh, yeah. golfers are wasting shots around the greens mm -hmm. as much as anywhere else. So when you can give them a tool like that, that all, not only gives them confidence, and better shots from the fairway, but it also gives them a lot more confidence and getting the ball closer to the hole. Tom, thank you for joining us uh, and providing information and insight into the Cobra Speed Zone hybrids, both the standard and the one length available in 2020.